Imagine traveling across the galaxy in a matter of minutes, exploring new worlds and civilizations, and boldly going where no one has gone before. This is the dream of faster-than-light travel, a staple of science fiction and fantasy. But is it really possible? Could we ever build a warp drive that allows us to bend the fabric of reality and cheat the cosmic speed limit? According to Einstein's theory of relativity, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, which is about 300,000 kilometers per second. That means it would take us four years to reach the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, and 100,000 years to cross the Milky Way galaxy. Even if we could somehow accelerate to near light speeds, we would face another problem, time dilation. This is the phenomenon that causes time to slow down for a moving object relative to a stationary one. So if we were to embark on an interstellar journey at near light speeds, we would age much slower than our friends and family back on Earth. By the time we returned, centuries or even millennia would have passed. But what if there was a way to avoid these limitations? What if we could warp space-time itself, creating a bubble of flat space around our spaceship that moves faster than light while leaving the spaceship inside unaffected? This is the idea behind the warp drive, a hypothetical technology that would allow us to travel faster than light without violating the laws of physics. This is not science fiction. This is science fact. Well, sort of. Warp drive is an alternative kind of propulsion to conventional rockets that allows spacecraft to travel faster than the speed of light. It works by warping and deforming the fabric of space-time around the vessel, creating a bubble of normal space that moves along with it. The ship itself never exceeds the speed of light, but the space around it does. This sounds like something out of Star Trek but it is actually based on the equations of general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity that describes how matter and energy curve space and time. In fact, physicist Miguel Alcubier proposed a mathematical model for a warp drive that is consistent with general relativity. But there's a catch. Actually, there are several catches. Alcubierre's warp drive requires exotic forms of matter and energy that may not exist in nature, such as negative energy and negative mass. It also requires enormous amounts of energy, equivalent to the mass of a planet or even a star, and it may create paradoxes and problems that violate the laws of physics, such as causality and quantum mechanics. So, is warp drive just a pipe dream, or is there a way to make it work in reality? In this video, we will explore the latest research on warp drive technology and see if there is any hope for faster than light travel in the future. Warp drive research has been going on for decades, both theoretically and experimentally. Theoretical physicists have been trying to find ways to modify or improve Alcubierre's model, or to come up with new models that avoid some of its drawbacks. Experimental physicists have been trying to test some of the predictions or implications of warp drive physics, such as negative energy or quantum effects. One of the most active research groups on warp drive is NASA's EagleWorks Laboratory, led by Harold Sonny White. White and his team have been working on various projects related to warp drive technology, such as designing a warp field interferometer, to detect tiny distortions in space-time, developing a quantum vacuum plasma thruster that could potentially generate negative energy, and proposing a modified version of Alcubierre's warp drive that reduces the energy requirements by several orders of magnitude. White's warp drive model is based on modifying the shape of the warp bubble, making it more rounded and symmetrical rather than flat and elongated. This reduces the amount of negative energy needed to create the bubble and also reduces the amount of exotic matter needed to stabilize it. White estimates that his warp drive could achieve a speed of 10 times the speed of light with an energy equivalent to 700 kilograms of mass, 
which is still huge, but much more feasible than Alcubierre's original model. White's model also avoids some of the paradoxes and problems associated with Alcubierre's model, such as causality violation and time travel. White argues that his warp drive preserves causality by ensuring that no signal can be sent faster than light within the bubble or outside it. He also claims that his warp drive does not create closed time-like curves, which are loops in space-time that allow time travel. However, White's model still faces some challenges and criticisms from other physicists. For instance, some argue that his model still requires negative energy and exotic matter, which are not well understood or observed in nature. Others argue that his model still creates problems with quantum mechanics, such as the horizon problem and the Hawking radiation problem. The horizon problem arises from the fact that the warp bubble creates a boundary between the inside and the outside of the bubble, where nothing can cross. This means that any information that enters the bubble is lost to the outside observer, and vice versa. This violates the principle of quantum mechanics that information cannot be destroyed or created. The Hawking radiation problem arises from the fact that the warp bubble creates a region of negative energy density at its edge, which causes quantum fluctuations to create pairs of particles and antiparticles. One of these particles falls into the negative energy region and annihilates, while the other escapes as radiation. This means that the warp bubble loses energy and mass over time, and also emits radiation that could be harmful to the ship or its surroundings. Despite these challenges and criticisms, warp drive research has not stopped. Two US-based physicists, Alexei Bobrik and Gianni Martire, published a paper that generated a lot of buzz in the scientific community and the media. Their paper claimed to have resolved many of the issues and problems with previous warp drive models and to have opened up new possibilities for faster than light travel. Bobrick and Martyr's paper is based on a novel approach to warp drive physics. Instead of starting from a specific model or metric, such as Alcubierre's or White's, they start from a general framework that defines what a warp drive is and what it can do. They use a set of criteria that any warp drive must satisfy, such as being consistent with general relativity, being able to travel faster than light, and being able to carry passengers or cargo. Using this general framework, Bobrick and Martyr show that there are many more possible ways to create a warp drive than previously thought. They also show that some of these ways do not require negative energy or exotic matter, or do not create paradoxes or problems with quantum mechanics. They also show that some of these ways allow for more flexibility and control over the shape and size of the warp bubble, as well as its speed and direction. One of the most intriguing implications of Bobrick and Martyr's paper is that it suggests that warp drive technology may have applications beyond space travel. For instance, they suggest that warp drives could be used to manipulate gravity, create artificial gravity fields, or even create wormholes or portals between different locations in space. So is warp drive really The science behind warp drive is fascinating and promising, but also complex and challenging. There are still many unknowns and uncertainties involved in warp drive physics, such as the nature and existence of negative energy and exotic matter, the compatibility with quantum mechanics and causality, and the feasibility and practicality of building and operating a warp drive. But there is also hope and excitement. Warp drive research has made significant progress over the years, both theoretically and experimentally. New models and frameworks have been proposed that offer new insights and possibilities for faster-than-light travel. 
and new applications and implications have been suggested that could revolutionize our understanding of space and time. Warp drive may not be science fiction after all, it may be science fact. Thank you for watching this video on faster than light travel and warp drive technology. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on science topics.